In this troubleshooting video, I will be discussing low quality print issues. These issues typically aren't critical failure points for your parts, but rather are problems that might require extra manual finishing to bring the quality to your desired standards. For the most part, these are typically due to being unfamiliar with the appropriate settings to use for your part and the material that you'll be using. First off, let's talk about elephant's foot. This is an issue where the print bows out where it makes contact with the bed surface, as can be seen here. This is caused by the bottom layer not cooling enough before the weight of the above layers can compress them and make them bulge outwards. Thankfully, there are a few ways to prevent this from happening. First, you can lower the bed temperature if your printer has a heated bed, like all the printers in the rapid prototyping lab do. Lower bed temperature allows for faster cooling, minimizing the distortion. Another solution is to add fillets or chamfers to the base of your print. This will counteract the bulging and will keep your part true. Next is an issue that can dramatically hamper your print's functionality, warping. This means that the edges of your part are distorting and don't remain true. Warping is on the opposite end of elephant's foot, whereas now the print is cooling too quickly, causing the print to shrink more and faster than it is supposed to, which, in turn, causes the part to contract, making the final product bent or misshapen. Again, there are a few solutions to warping, the most obvious being to begin raising the bed temperature with test prints until the warping subsides. Another is to add wraps to your part. Wraps will assist in keeping the part grounded to the print bed. Beyond those two, I would recommend asking somebody with experience before trying this solution on your own. But you can also adjust the cooling fan settings of your printer as well. The last issue we'll cover here is gaps forming between the outer edges of your part and the infill layer. This is a rather easily noticeable issue, but it is also one that can hinder the overall strength of your print if left unchecked. Thankfully, this is a rather simple fix, however. Typically, the reason that this would occur is due to having your infill overlap setting in your slicer software too low. You should try to aim for about 30% and go from there. However, if you go above 50%, you will encounter a completely different issue entirely. So if it isn't resolved by that point, you can also lower your print speed, which should also allow the material to distribute slightly more effectively.